Hey guys, it's Lin. It's been a while, and recently I said goodbye to the share house that I used to live in and moved to a different apartment. This time I have the whole apartment to myself with no furniture included. So today I'm going to show you what I bought and let's assemble everything together. This was the first day that I moved in. As you can see, the apartment is pretty spacious, and these are all of the stuff that I brought with me from my previous place. The furniture that I bought hadn't arrived yet, so the only thing that I had with me was the curtain that I picked up directly from IKEA. Hanging up the curtain is always the first thing I do whenever I move into a new place. Apartments in Japan normally have a really big window and people outside can actually see what you're doing inside the house, so it's best to cover it as soon as possible. The next morning, some of the furniture I ordered finally came. I was really excited because finally I can start arranging my room and turning it into a home. The first thing I decided to assemble was the working chair from Muji. It was quite expensive, but it was the only chair that I felt comfortable sitting on after trying out so many different chairs from several shops in Sibuya. The chair has three separate parts, one leg base, one cylinder, and one main unit. It takes about 15 minutes to put it together. All I had to do was to insert the cylinder into the leg base first, then put the main unit on the top of the cylinder. Finally, sit on it to make sure that everything is put in place nicely. This chair didn't come with the arm, so I had to buy them separately. The arm was sold in a setup too together with the screws. What I had to do was to put the chair down and attach the arms to the bottom part of the main unit. In the afternoon, my friend came over to help me assemble the bed. This is the first real bed that I have ever bought by myself, so I had no idea how it was going to be. Fortunately, it was not too complicated to put together. You're just rolling here. <laughs> In the evening, after finally getting a light from my room, I decided to assemble the working table. This is also from IKEA, and I found it interesting that I could buy the tabletop and the legs separately. A week after that, I received four big plastic containers from Nitori, which I will use for storing clothes. I really like this kind of container because they are cheap and they fit perfectly under the bed, so it helps save some space in my room. I 
also received some other stuff from Dittori like vacuum cleaner, soy bath mat and a stand for the mat and weighing scale. The part I hate the most about unboxing is that I have to break down all of the cardboard boxes and throw away all of the plastic airbag afterwards. Just by the time that I finished cleaning up, the washing machine, fridge and mattress I bought from Nitori came. In Japan, the delivery staff normally covers the floor with a blanket to protect it from getting scratched first before moving the stuff inside. The staff can also set up the fridge and washing machine for you for free or for a small charge. Washing machine and fridge are really heavy and I don't know how to set them up either. So I always ask the delivery staff to do it for me. After the staff finished setting up, he turned on the washing machine and asked me to check if everything is working fine. He also asked for my permission to take photos of the fridge in the washing machine as it is necessary for him to make a report of his work. Finally, I had to sign some document to confirm that the setup was carried out without any problem. Now that my new mattress is here, it's time to cover it with the bed sheet that I bought from IKEA. This is 95% cotton and it feels really soft so I'm really satisfied with it. To complete my bedroom, I also bought a small rug that I found at a department store close by. This rug is perfect for 1-2 to two people and it's really soft so it works great for when I want to sit on the floor. Now let's move back to the kitchen. Home appliances from Nittori are really cheap so I bought an electric water kettle as well. This kettle is available in two colors, blue and white, and I actually had the blue one before but this time I decided to go for white color. As I plan to try to cook at home more, I also bought a microwave oven from Toshiba. This is similar to a normal microwave except that I can also use it for baking and grilling. I'm still looking for recipe that I can make with this microwave oven so if you have any good suggestion please share with me I really appreciate that I never hang my clothes outside and there's no clothes dryer in this apartment so I decided to buy one by myself. If you live in Japan, I really recommend this machine because it's affordable but works really well. I never have to worry about hanging my clothes and I can dry my clothes anytime even when it's not sunny outside. The last thing that I bought was a 27 inch iMac. I have been using this at work and I have been wanting one for myself for quite a while already. So finally I decided to buy it. I used to edit my videos on a MacBook Pro but it was quite slow and the screen was too small. Now with the iMac, the experience is much better so I'm really glad that I got it.
that's all of the big stuff that I bought for my new apartment. I will leave the link to each item in the description box so if you want to buy any of them, go ahead and check it out. I'm still in the process of organizing my place so once it's done, I'll make a new apartment tour for you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and share it with your friends and family. Subscribe for more videos about life and travel in Japan. I'm happy to be back and I'll see you again soon. Take care and bye!